You would not believe how many times I've tried to do this intro and then failed miserably. I should probably just do it in post at this point. But hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to round three of the Phant Phantom Abyss segment of the Wholesome vs. Pyramid Ultimate Tournament. Ah... Uh, anyway, challenge for today is Scaled Whip, which I got in my hands, and we have to have less than, um, we have to have less than 400 coins. I keep forgetting the 400 coins bit, and then Natter gone for a while and realizing I didn't talk about it, and then I, I don't know. Look, intros are hard. Intros are harder when you're doing parkour. But let's do this ideally without making too much money. I was doing a couple of practice runs? I just started playing this game this morning. Um, not with the scaled whip. I don't know. Do practice runs count? I hope they don't. I'd be in dire straits otherwise. I mean, maybe? I've definitely won a lot today, so... I'm, uh, whatever, it's fine. Anything cool there? Nope. Alright. I'm at 139. Gotta make sure I don't gain too much more than that. But... Yeah, as part of this, I was like, okay, let's see if I can keep myself below 400 coins. And the answer is, it's either really easy, or I make, like, 700 coins in the first level. And then it's just... No, that ain't it. And I don't want to walk right into spikes, because that would be hellaciously embarrassing. Okay, there we go. Rifes. Wow. I was about to say, wow, somebody died already? And then the answer is like, no, that actually does not surprise me. Um, sometimes. It's very easy to just get, like, in a bad loop right off the bat. I, I'm terrified of that happening. I'm actually, I'm, I'm jittering really bad. Uh, I, I'm fine with competition. Why have... I have no idea what the Guardian is on this temple. Uh, oh well. We'll figure it out. But, uh... I was fine with the last two. I think because they were deck builders, there was no immediate pressure. You know, it was all just up to, um... Skill and strategy. And I don't feel like there's as much of a... An issue for me. But the moment I have to do something... Complicated. Okay, it's Devouring Rage. That's gonna make this spicy. I, you know what? Maybe I'm okay with it. Maybe Devouring Rage isn't so bad. I got bad memories of him in the red zone, but elsewhere, yeah, I don't know. Make it work. A lot of people died here. There we go. Well, this is not the way. Oh, the way is to the right. Or, no, the way is up. Okay. Very glad we don't have the Devouring Rage coming after me here. That would be gnarly. But at least we got some space here. Oh, that didn't work. That is weird. But yeah, I... I want to say I have a bit of a bad track record with... Oh, Phantom Rave, it's not. It's Phantom Abyss. I have a bad track record when it comes to this game. Um, and, like, stress and bugs and weird issues. And so, like, the moment the pressure is on, I start shaking like a leaf. Um... I didn't even see that one there. This is piss poor timing and placement. I should have just gone the regular way. Okay, there we go. But I start shaking like a leaf and start making just the most boneheaded, boneheaded decisions that, you know, get me killed. Or can get me killed. Okay. Like, it's... It's fine up until I hit hit the record button for one of these challenges, and then I'm just like, all right, and I'm done. I bury me. Bury me with my desktop. 
because we died together. Okay, is there anything back the other way? I don't know. I don't know, can't tell, and I'm currently being chased, and I have... This is not the way out of here. Um... There it is. Okay, and I've got 200 coins, so I can buy something. I have no idea what I want to invest in. The hell setup is this? Wait, where am I? Oh. I don't have long whip. I'm not going to get that. Maybe if he wasn't so dang close to me. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Oh. <sighs> I just gotta, just gotta stay calm. Cavalier. I always play better when, when everything is just easy breezy. The other thing I gotta remember is not to collect too much treasure. My, my inner loot gremlin is hard to suppress. Um, like I, I actually feel like this specific challenge was made as a character assassination against me. Uh, me specifically. Let's see, nothing in here, but there's definitely something on the other side. There's also those, but I'm going to leave them for other people to pop for me. As long as they don't have any poison gas, we're fine. Okay. There we go. Actually, I think I'm the first person right now, and that's... I'm not going to say that's not a good sign, because I don't think... No, I'm not. It's just somebody didn't bother to do that one. All right. There we go. Slow fall and quick whip together are going to be a good combo. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Devouring Rage. A little uh, slow in the uptake there. Okay. So I need 250 for the next perk. I don't know how close I want to redline to 400. Obviously, getting really close to 400 is probably the way to go. I really should not have played. I played like three hours of this before doing this run just because I'm like, oh man, I should do some practice runs. Oh man, I forgot how fun Phantom Abyss is. Eh, it's still Devouring Rage. I think I'm fine. There's a couple of specific um, patterns for Devouring Rage that can really screw me over. But otherwise, he's not so bad. I gotta be close to that one. Um... But yeah, there's a couple of specific patterns with him. Mainly crusher traps that get me. That's that's like the one thing I can't deal with him on. But otherwise, I think we're okay. Uh, let's see. <sighs> My peripheral vision is kind of bad today. Maybe. Almost just immediately whiffed it on one of those. Okay. If I'm in first, that makes this much easier. Because that means there's nobody else to whip the treasure chest. It must have hooked onto an area behind. There we go. I wasn't sure if I was going to make that properly. Okay, he there. Why did the hell is he there? Okay. And here's the frustration. I can't collect any of this treasure. Boy, would I love to. However, unfortunately, I'm at 389 coins, and that means I'm tapped out. I could just lose the secondary challenge, but, like, I I might as well just use this opportunity to get way ahead of the Devouring Rage and just not think about it. Often, he stands most... Uh, he presents most of the danger. 
if I'm trying to greed mode it. But yeah, unless I found like a mid-run shrine, there's nothing. Okay, it's this one. I like this room. It's an easy room. Except for when the laser's blinking in my periphery. Not as big on that. Double jump, lucky landing. I'm gonna go double jump, and then we're gonna get back up to... I think it's 300 for the next one, yeah? I should double check. 300 for the next one. We're gonna get up to 300, and then I'm just not going to spend it. Uh, we're gonna... I'm at 4 health now. I would love to see if I could get up to... I'm not gonna be able to get two more perks. So if I could go back up to full health, that would do the trick. Oh, shoot. We still got another level. I thought oh, we were closer to the end than we are. I was really hoping I could get long whip. But slow fall, double jump, and quick whip. Those are not bad. Okay. I don't need the money currently. I'm, I'm panicking. I don't know if it's obvious, but I am. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, and the Devouring Rage is already on his way. We don't care about anything else. Oh, I don't even care too much about money in the immediacy, immediacy of the moment. Oh yeah, there is a gap there. I'll file that away in the, the old brain box. For later. Oh, really? Wow, that was short. Okay. <sighs> I'm going quick, though. That's one thing I like about Phantom Abyss. Well, until we get to the red zone, and at which point... Well, no, then you have to go even faster. But, like, credit where credit is due on this specific challenge of... Oh, he's here already. Uh, that's fun. Oh, this... Freaking blows. I don't like the ones that immediately, like, switch that fast. It's so much harder to manage. Okay. There we go. Nothing else, nothing else. There we go. I don't actually remember if they're really... I think I found, what, one treasure chest in the last two two levels? I mean, I'll take it. It means I don't have to worry about potentially reaching um, 400 and surpassing it. But we will see. All right. Now what are we looking at? Should have no trouble with these gaps. I was wondering about that. Usually I use long long whip to bridge those instead. Man, what the hell? Okay, not so bad. Whew. Yeah, I don't recognize some of these and I don't have the patterns in my head yet. I trying to do this blind would be well blind. I should use that phrasing. And no momentum on that. Uh, it's fine. Oh, wow. I'm a lucky duck. Alright, we're gonna just wait here for a bit. But yeah, trying to do this without having ever played this before would really throw me off in the worst possible way. Alright, and shell, please do not turn off the TV. It would be problematic. Alright, let's get this. I don't actually know if he can nab me. Well, and I'm collecting one of those. 
I hope you're invincible as soon as you grab and interact with the stat. Oh, God. I do not like those. Those those seem to be kind of a new thing. And those ones specifically, for me at least, feel kind of brutal, just because the timing on them is so much more specific than the slower ones. I guess it means you can rush it faster. Oh, that was awkward. Okay, I don't see any treasure chests. What? 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 What was that? Why did my vision just go black? What is happening? What? What is happening? Why is my vision just going dark? Is there is there a, a enemy? No. What? What? I call shenanigans on that one. I did a judgment call on this. Okay. You know, grand scheme of things. I'm just going to say that last one was invalid. If it was valid and I missed a trap that just randomly makes your vision cut out, um, I'm really confused as to how that could even be a thing. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to include that last run and say, I'm pretty sure that's not, that was not a valid death. But I'll put it in there anyway, and if, if I end up getting docked points because it was something I should have known about or figured out at the time, then cool. I've got to watch my money here. But no matter what, that, that did not seem legit. And so my own personal judgment call on it is that shenanigans, lies and shenanigans, and that, you know, whatever, whatever that was, probably was a bug. And if it wasn't a bug, I, I don't know. Y'all can just, y'all can make a judgment yourself. But in my heart, I'm going to say no, because what the hell was that? What happened? Well, there's a thing. That's a good way of getting rid of the jitters. Just righteous anchor. I guess it gives me another shot? Question mark at doing a full health run? I don't know. I just... I don't know. How do you... How do you even... Like, ooh. how do you even react to that? How do you even judge that? I I don't. I'm so lost. Oh well, let's get wings again. I'm curious if crouch jump is actually good or not. That's a legitimate question. I'll mess with it. I don't know. I I am way out of sorts. Like I went from being total jitterbug, scaredy scaredy man, to now I'm jitterbug frustrated. Okay, you know the biggest crime out of all of this. I'm gonna have to like stop myself from getting everything in here. Or, I'm gonna go up to, like, near 400, and I'll be okay. I don't know. I I don't know. Because I'm, I'm sitting here being like, is this, is this worth my time? I should not be doing that. I think I used to do that previously, where I'd actually drag myself over, and that, uh, was bad? And 149. Whoever was in here grabbing these was really hasty. 
think they've skipped half the loot. Wonder why. I don't see anything chasing anybody in here. There we go. Okay, grab those, avoid the poison gas. How much am I? 245. I might be able to come out of this with like a reasonable amount of goodies. I just have to be very careful. Okay. So far, so good. And I just will have to not pick up a single dang treasure chest for the entire rest of this level. Unless we get really lucky. Each worth one of these worth one? Yes! Okay. One of my buddies is going to be watching this and they're going to be like, oh, he's going to go over, he's going to go over, and I'm going to be like, no! It is truly a rough feeling, though, being at near maximum money and then just being like, well, I guess I can't do anything else. Mr. Popo, no! Oh, shoot. Like, there's so many treasure chests that I'm just missing. Now, I could obviously just say, like, uh, say meh, and hover slide, double jump. I, uh, let's go double jump. Double jump is just a little bit better. <sighs> oh, we're not even out of the green yet. I mean, it's pretty good. Decent chunk of money right off the bat. I need 250 for my next perk. I might, I might actually be able to, uh, carefully money, nope. Respectfully, respectfully, no thank you. Blade traps are like one of the main traps that I don't want to mess with. They're very merciless. I saw somebody maybe going down and I was like, ooh. And then I almost got gotcha I am so confused. Okay, now. And then. Wait for the next one to pass. Alright. I have no idea if there's any loot in those rooms. Like I said, I don't like messing with the blade traps. Because... Frankly, they just behave weird. Even, I, I don't know. I, I will say this game in general just kind of behaves a little weird. Like, it's not perfect yet. I almost went down into the green. That would have been really embarrassing and weird. That's not a good sign. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Anywho, um, I don't know, just blade, blade traps seem really finicky to me, which is odd. They're probably the most predictable of the traps, but there's just something about them, and it's like, you think they're going to do one thing, and then they're elsewhere, and maybe part of it is just like, I'm over or underestimating them, and it always keeps getting me. But like, without fail, throws me off every single time. And so I usually try to stay the heck away from them. I think the main thing is, unlike all of the other traps, blade traps you have to specifically move through. You can't just kind of go around them. I mean, you can. Usually you just, I go over them, but if I can't go over them, if I can't climb on top of the pillar, it's just like, eh, what do I do? You know, sometimes this will have a spinning blade trap there, and that just throws me off so hard.
pretty sure I can just float over most of these. I wonder if I could have actually floated over most of that level. I have no idea. Well, laser hasn't shown up yet. And I'm going to say, that I think, I still think the uh, laser ball is probably the most forgiving of the bosses, bosses, guardians to have to deal with. I was close. Closer than I would care to admit. Okay. Bad cycle. There we go. We just juke. There we go. We just juke. And we take care. Now, normally, I wouldn't. However, this means if we somehow get just a buttload of money, we're fine. Admittedly, there's a lot of other upgrades that I would have preferred to get, but still. Like, Quick Whip is good. And has a lot of, like, it opens a lot of doors. Long Whip, I feel like, is just the superior upgrade. It is so nice not having Devouring Rage constantly just coming after me. I was talking about Long Whip versus Quick Whip. There you go. Alright, let's see. What do you have for me on this kind and lovely afternoon evening? Nothing. Okay. Got to be very careful. But I don't actually bait or walk into a beam. Okay, 269. Got to be careful. Shell's having some gumbo or something. It's just tickling my nostrils in just the right way to make me feel sneezy. Okay. Lucky or hover slide? I guess I'm going to go lucky and just hope for the best here. I was really hoping to save up, uh, potentially to go for a, uh, to go for, like, a heal or a bonus heart. But lucky will save my butt way longer. I mean, we have enough... We have some leeway to maybe get up to 350. It's going to be tough. Okay, there we go. Now, what is this room? Okay, there we go. I didn't want to deal with quick spinning blades in that manner. Especially in uh, one of the moving rooms. Okay, good. I'm so glad they made it so that the laser does not spawn in these rooms. He tries. And then it's like, eh, actually, never mind. Okay. There we go. Let's just not make a fool of ourselves. I say that to myself every day. And every day, the world conspires to make me a liar. Holy shit. That was a bit much. Okay. 
glad these chambers aren't nearly as stinky as they used to be. Alright. Don't have enough for a blessing. Have a lot of blessings. M still felt full health. Like... At this point... I'm not going to say the win is in the, in the bag. But it is... Uh... It is close. But even then, I think... I think even if... I do clear this one perfect. You know, full health, so on and so forth. Even if that happens, I think I'm still going to say I only deserve credit for four hearts as opposed to five. Um, maybe? I don't know. Like, the real question is, what does that failed run count as? Oh, well. Freaking hell. Whew. Close. I... Uh, Rita was talking about hating these, and I think I am in full agreement. They're just awkward. Hard to work around. Watch, 226. I will see. Anyway, um, but I did take damage on the failed run that... I'm going to argue didn't count because I truly have no idea what killed me and maybe maybe I did get killed by something legit I have no clue I have no clue I, I still stand by that I have no idea what that was okay and I didn't turn wrong we are we're going in through the blue door good <laughs> it's just Everything has just been breaking down in the worst possible way. And... It's freaking me out a little bit. Okay, anyway, so yeah, even if I perfect this run, I did take damage on that one run. And it feels like it would be kind of unfair for me to get a mulligan on that. You know, I'm fine with starting the run over, but I did, I did take a hit. But, I don't know, I'll leave it up to everybody else to determine. Because, like... Is the whole run invalid because of stinky bugness, or is just... Shit, I don't know. It's been stuck in my head, and I apologize that my commentary is a little focused on this, but it's just like... I mean, how could it not be? Okay, I gotta be very careful. We want to get up to 350. Because that would give me a... I was gonna call it a safety blanket. I mean, kind of. Watch one of these actually just give me, like, a thousand gold. Just all of a sudden, riches. That one might, actually. No. Is a large chest. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. We're good. There we go. Okay, we've got our safety. So now... I'm not going to say I have nothing to worry about. This is just wigging me out a little bit. That was a bad ledge grab. Alright. So the question is, do I just use it now and hope it doesn't give me a heal 3? No, we'll use it at the end. Nothing it could give me at this point would change the outcome, but, I mean, if I if I heal myself one, I'd say maybe that... I don't know, shit. Look. Rules and rule... Rules lawyering is... It works when I'm the dungeon master. It's not so great when I'm just a player. 
But it would help to have an actual, like, dungeon master just be like, hey, help. I guess that'd be Alexa. Okay. I think I panicked there. Maybe a little too much. Okay, that double jump is actually really helping. It works well with slow fall. It works really well with slow fall. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, earlier I was talking about how it was like super jittery and just like uncomfortable feeling and it's just throws me off every time. It's because whenever there's like pressure, shit does go weird. And I have, like, no good explanation for how, why, or, like, you know, what the heck. Let's see. I'm just gonna brave the dart traps. That almost hit me in the face. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Some of these rooms are just terrifying. I'm like, how do I get through this actually safely? And my solution is always like, you know, a thousand times jankier than it probably needs to be. But the blind panic of trying to avoid taking damage doesn't make, uh, doesn't let me think rationally. So the best I could do is just, like, deer in headlights my way through it, and hope that I'm fine. It's working. But, gosh, I'm gonna have to just, like, vegetate today. I'm gonna install Minecraft. I mean, I need to install Minecraft anyway. Because I asked Patreons to vote, and they said Minecraft. Okay, I always got to be a little careful coming up to these. Luckily, Laser Ball is slow on the uptake. This has been such a good room for him to show up in, but he is... Well, I'd say this is a doozy. But, like... I don't know. That wasn't so bad. Shit. We got it. <sighs> well, I think I'm going to have the uh, the honors of having equally the weirdest and most like dubious run, and also the richest. Huh. I was really hoping there'd be like a heal as part of that. I could have actually been taking this the entire time. Let's see. <laughs> oh, we got it. We got it. It's totally perfect run. I didn't even have to heal myself or anything. Obviously. Did that, did that count? I don't heckin' know. I have no idea. Did... I... What is going on? What has happened to me? I don't think I've seen this one before. But yeah, I... I probably would have been fine had it not been for that absolutely weird catastrophic issue. I'd, I'll go back and watch the footage, but as far as I can tell, what was happening was that the fall plane was raised above the platforms, or that there was some kind of netcode issue where I continued on, but the game thought I fell, and I would just fall eternally. I don't know. I don't know, and that's okay. Either way, great secondary run. Very proud of that. Uh, I wish we could double bless my scaled whip because I would be the happiest camper for that. 
But alas, it is okay. For now, I guess I'll see you guys on the next round of the Wholesome vs. Pyramid Ultimate Tournament. And as always, thanks for watching. I don't have slow fall here. I was wondering, it's like, why am I not slow falling? Uh.